What is up YouTube? Scrammy here, coming at you with another extreme test for the Sonom XP8. Now, we touched on this before. I had a phone in the freezer and the water was fairly frozen but not quite froze all the way. But this time, we're going to put it in water and we're going to let it freeze, but we're going to wait till it's rock solid frozen. No, no chicken and out. It's just going to be completely solid froze. Now, Putting it in the freezer by itself, it was fine, but this kind of brings me back memories of uh, the Jello and how that wasn't even in the freezer. That was just in the fridge. And guess what? It killed that Sonom. I don't know what it was exactly that how it killed it yet. I, I don't know. It, it's just crazy that it was the freaking Jello that did kill the phone. But anyway, we've got our other Sonom here, and it's about. 90 or so percent charge, maybe 91 percent, I think I see that. We're going to fill up the Tupperware here. We're going to fill it up, set it in there, make sure it's functioning. All the ports and such are closed, if you can see, completely closed. We have the back completely closed, so theoretically nothing should get into this device at all. Nice and shiny. So, we're going to try this one more time. Hopefully, uh, we get no whammies and we can actually make this work. So, without further ado, I'm going to take this thing over, start filling it with water, and get this test started, guys. Alright guys, here we go. You can see all the little air bubbles and such. This tray, oh my goodness, is a little overfilled I think. But, we're going to make it work. Get it up in here. Oh, spill it a little bit, but in the freezer it goes. Yep, nice and let's put it in the middle. A little OCD, yep. The phone is totally in the water. Let me push the button, make sure it is still alive. And it is still alive. It is 1.57, so we'll say 2 o'clock. And it's probably going to take a long while for this to really, really freeze. All right, guys, it's now a little after 3 o'clock, so it's been about an hour or so. The phone has been in the freezer. Let's check them out. All right, as you can see, lots of bubbles. Same air bubbles. Let's see, can I push the button and get it to turn on? The water's getting nice and cold, and look at that. There you go. It is definitely still working. It looks like I got some sort of notification. So we're just going to keep letting this puppy freeze. Hopefully it gets nice frosty cold, and we'll have to chisel this thing out of there. But will it survive? I hope so. All right, guys, here we go. We're just past 4 o'clock, so we're going into 2 hours. Check out the phone. See how it's going? Well, it looks like there's, it's definitely building up some ice. Well, I can still kind of break through it though. Let's see, can I get my finger in there to maybe push a button? Oh, look at that. You can see the time kind of, it's a little after four, but the phone is still on. I still have that notification. So now we just keep waiting guys. We just keep waiting. Here we go again guys, now we're passing 5 o'clock here, 5 o'clock, pull this puppy right out, it is uh, definitely getting more frozen, yep, kind of what I thought, I can't, I'm not going to be able to push the button, so we're getting somewhere, we're definitely freezing up now, 
It looks like the wiener dog came to help. Yeah? You want the ice? Of course you do. Well, all we can do, guys, is put it in for another hour. Maybe we'll let this thing go overnight. I don't know. All right, guys, it is now after 6 o'clock. We're going to check the sonum again. See how it's doing. And it's looking more and more frosty. Let me pull her out real quick. Oh, yeah. Not quite frozen enough, though. I can still see air bubbles. So there's definitely water in here. But, yeah, guys, we're still going. I don't know if it's going to work when this is done. I am assuming it's probably going to at least shut off because it's going to be so cold. All right, guys, here we go. It's after 7. Ready for another check. Uh, the sonum. Ooh, it's looking, it's looking better. Uh, I still see some bubbles, though. All right, now. Definitely getting pretty solid, but we we still have time here, people. We have to make sure this is super solid. On a side note, I just want to say that it's after 7 and some dude claiming to be somebody from Nice Egg to save me money just tried to basically uh, get into my house so we could go over bills. And I just thought that's a little weird, so sent him on his way. So, almost got hijacked, but hey, what are you going to do? We're going to keep this phone going. I really would like to see it completely frozen over, so hopefully before I go to bed tonight, we can get this finished, guys. All right, guys. It is now after 9 o'clock. And we're going to check the sonum. It's been in this freezer for over 7 hours now. We're going to take this out. I think this is going to be it. It's pretty damn solid. Yeah, it's like a rock. Yeah, we're definitely going to call that one good. So... This thing has been, oh, there's a little bit of movement in there, but we're definitely calling this one froze. I don't think it's going to get too much more frozen than this. So without further ado, I'm going to bring this to the sink and basically start trying to get it the hell out of here. So bear with me a minute while I try to get this squared away. Hey, look at that. Perfect. And it's set right at the bottom. Awesome. Well, let me see if I can get this. Oh, jeez. It's solid in there. Look at this freaking nice block. Nice block of ice. Ooh. Looks good. It is freezing. All right. So, well, I guess my best bet here. Just going to knock it. See if I can get it free. Oh, dear God. Wow. Yep, that's... That's really, really, uh... Really froze. What would I expect, I guess? I don't know what I was expecting. Oh, well, we're gonna try. And warm it up. There we go. Just a little punch. Okay, I don't see any water under the screen. Hey, and look at that. It looks freaking perfect. And there's that little notification there. Let's see, I'm pretty sure my fingerprint wouldn't work because everything's soaked right now, so. Let's uh, bring it up. That looks good. Let me just bring up the video camera real quick see if that's working and yep that is still working so that's good all right now let's uh try some websites here so this is working perfect and just for good measure let's go on youtube and go to my channel and we're going to Pick a video of mine. I'm sure this is probably not going to sound good because, well, it's soaked. But I just want to prove that it is fully functional. So, and wait for this ad to go away. 
And what do you know? Look at that. Good to go. I'm going to dry this off real quick, give it a little closer look. But I think we can say that being frozen in ice ain't going to do nothing to the sonum. All right, guys. So I just went and uh, dried off the phone a little bit better here just to get a little closer look. You can see it's uh, still reacting a little slow, albeit because, you know, it was just frozen for hours and hours and hours. But besides that and the fact that it physically feels cold as hell, ain't nothing, nothing really happened to it. It screen still looks good. Uh, speakers are going to have to take some time to dry out. The flap down here, which I thought might uh, be cause for concern, actually didn't dislodge at all. It stayed perfectly closed. I thought if water got in anywhere around there, it would have popped it apart as it froze, but we're good on that aspect. All the buttons are good and everything is thawing out. But yeah, I mean, hell, I guess it ain't nothing. I'm, I'm impressed at I thought it was probably going to shut down or something, but here we are. The Sonom is good to go. So if you ever want to know if you can leave your phone in a frozen lake or something, as long as you can get it back, it should be just perfectly fine. So that's another test, another win for the Sonom. And, well, one off the books. So now we just got to think of what's going to happen next. Till the next time, guys.